your immigration case is delayed. You wanna make that delay go away so your case can start moving and you can get a final decision and hopefully an approval on your immigration case. What about using a congressman or congressional representative and enlisting their help and trying to solve the delay by going that route? That's what we're gonna talk about today. What's up everybody, if you don't know me, my name is Josh Goldstein, I'm the founder of Immigration Station, this channel that I created just for you. And on this station, we share the tools, tricks, tips to help you get unstuck and reach your immigration goals. Now, my motivation or idea for making this video came out of a conversation I had with a prospective client. This person came to me, their case was hopelessly delayed. There was a very simple issue that was getting it stuck. And I said, listen, I know how to help you with this. Can we get started? And she said, no, no, I don't need that because I have asked a congressman, a congressional rep to help me out. And so I'm going to wait for the congressman to get back to me. And so I thought I would make this video to share with you five things that you absolutely must, must know about seeking congressional assistance to resolve your immigration case. First thing, what is this? Well, if your immigration case is delayed or you're having any other sort of problem with USCIS or the State Department or any other governmental agency related to immigration, what you can do is seek out the help of a politician. Typically, that is a US senator or a US congressional representative, the person who represents the district that you live in. And what you do is you approach that person's office and you seek their help. And each of these offices has a certain person called a congressional liaison. And they are designed to work with immigration issues for you, a constituent. And that's what they do. The second thing you need to know, how do you do this? How do you seek the assistance of a politician or a congressional representative? First, you have to figure out who your congressional rep is. You can find that through Google. Then what you do is you go onto their website and most of them have a privacy release form. You have to fill this out to give them authorization to make an inquiry with USCIS or the State Department on your behalf. So you fill out the paperwork, you explain what kind of case you have, what the issue is, you give them your case number and all the relevant paperwork, and you ask for their help. You ask them to help you clear this up, and that's how you do it. The third thing that you need to know about congressional assistance, this seems like such an attractive option for people, but why is that? Why is this such an attractive option? Why are people so interested in seeking a congressional representative? First of all, in many other countries, the way that you get results, the way that you solve problems with the government is with the help of a politician, with some sort of an insider, some person who has power, somebody's brother-in-law knows the governor, and that's how you get things done because that is just the way that things happen. And I think that that is more appealing to people who are from other countries. Maybe this is a kind of an ignorant p opinion of mine, but. I think that's kind of the way people think. Well, I have a problem with immigration. I need to get a powerful politician to come in and fix this for me. That's why I think it's attractive. The fourth thing that you need to know, and this is another reason why it's attractive, is that there's no cost directly associated with this. You don't have to pay a fee, but the cost that you will pay is in your time and in your effort. This is going to take about two months for you to get a result. It's gonna also take hard work on your part. You're gonna to have to download all the forms, fill them out, scan them, upload them, email them, follow up with the office, keep doing that over and over. So it takes your time and effort, but there's no fee associated with it. The fifth thing that you need to know about congressional assistance for your immigration case is that it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. It is not effective. It doesn't work. And let me explain to you the likely outcome of your efforts to seek congressional assistance. First of all, if your case is delayed in administrative processing, for example, and you're trying to get a visa and you seek the assistance of a congressional rep, what will happen is they'll take down all your information and two months later, they will send you a letter and the letter will say, dear so-and-so, thank you for inquiring on our behalf. We've enlisted with the agency and inquired as to the status of your immigration case. And according to the most recent updates, your case is pending in administrative processing and should be resolved after a period of review, blah, 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 blah. This letter is not going to get you any further. You're not gonna solve the problem of the delay 
by asking a congressional representative. It doesn't work. It just generates that form letter and that's very discouraging. If you want to solve the delay in your immigration case and you want to get to the bottom of what's really going on, then what you need to do instead of congressional representative is you need to watch the next video that I'm going to share right here. Watch this video and I'm going to explain to you exactly what you need to do.